Good Saturday morning, everybody, live and direct from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. It is Saturday morning, January 14th, and feeling more or less just about where we should be when it comes to the temperatures out there. We'll talk about that coming up in your forecast in just a little bit. A big mess shaping up just north of us as an ice storm moves its way on through much of the upper Midwest, the Great Plains, and toward the mid-Mississippi Valley. We're not seeing any problems with that. Forecast the red bar at the bottom of your screen. Temperatures back around the 50s for today with scattered showers and fog, mostly looking at just cloud cover for later on tonight, and temperatures going back into around the mid to upper 40s. We're not going to drop that much on temperatures thanks to this warm air that is making its way up across the southern plains and the southern Mississippi Valley. For us, it's going to be very mild considering where we could be for this time of the year. North of us, a lot more problems up that direction, and we'll talk about that as we get into the rest of the forecast. Foggy in Jonesboro from our Sound Concepts Incorporated webcam from the Weather Underground System in Jonesboro, Arkansas in the background, and temperatures back in the upper 40s with increasing chances of showers out across much of the area, off and on throughout the rest of the day today, and temperatures hovering right about normal for this time of the year. Winds will be out of the northeast to the northwest, but will continue you to see the possibility of some very mild temperatures coming our way into the next several days. We've got a lot of advisories north of us. The purple color is where we see ice storm warnings in effect for most of Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, and into the panhandles of Texas and Oklahoma, and into western portions of Illinois for this morning. And that's going to be the most dangerous travel out there. That's in effect until at least tomorrow at noon. North in the blue, we've got winter storm watches in effect for areas of Colorado all the way back to Illinois and all the way up into around South Dakota and Minnesota. South of that and back to around the east all the way into the Appalachians we've got freezing rain advisories for all the way over just west of the D.C. area and back into around portions of Oklahoma and Texas so a lot going on just north of us. <clears throat> Excuse me. What we have is just some scattered showers, mainly just around the Olive Branch area as we record this, just after 7 o'clock Saturday morning. Most of the Mid-South is seeing little, if anything, in the way of major amounts of rainfall. We do have some light scattered showers over northern Mississippi and a lot more activity northeastern areas of Arkansas moving its way on through. But right now, nothing heavy or severe, not even any lightning. West Tennessee, not seeing that much, but we'll be picking up more rainfall later on. And the heaviest rainfall so far in north Mississippi Mississippi along and close to the I-22 area back around by Halia, Holly Springs and north and east of Oxford. So we'll be watching for any thunderstorms that form out there as we get into the course of the next couple of days. One earthquake just north of the Mid-South area yesterday that was up in and around uh, portions of the area close to the boot heel of Missouri, but also not seeing again very much in the way of other major earthquakes out there. If you'd like to see more about what's going on in the way of earthquakes, all you have to do is drop by the United States Geological Survey at earthquakes.usgs.gov or the Center for Earthquake Research and Information from the University of Memphis at memphis.edu slash CERI. This was a 2.1 earthquake and that occurred today at 2.38 in the morning back up around the boot heel of Missouri. That one arc, uh, marker out that direction and another one back around the Missouri, uh, Tennessee Alabama border. That was a 2.3 and that happened at 4.24 p.m. yesterday, so a couple of earthquakes out there. For today, a lot of clouds out there, calm, and no delays being reported so far, but we'll wait and see if anything does slow down out there thanks to this winter storm coming on through. Foggy, a few cars out on the roadway at St. Francis in Cordova, just south of I-40 on Germantown Parkway, and a few areas of less visibility being seen. Germantown at City Hall, looking back toward East Memphis and the Poplar Pike Germantown Road interchange in the lower right right hand corner of your screen. Olive branch, some rain and drizzle on the camera lens and some fog in the background in the weather underground system. Yesterday's precipitation didn't amount to much. We've got two-thirds of an inch in the bank for the month and the year, so we're doing pretty good on rainfall so far. Yesterday's high, 50, very close to normal. 45 are low, and that was way above normal for this time of the year. Record low for today, 10 in 1982, 10 degrees above zero. 75, the record high set back in 1937. Rest of the day today, showers dropping their way on through from time to time, and temperatures again as long as that front remains in the area as you can see the temperatures are going to be uh, 
wildly different out across much of the Mid-South. We're going to be seeing the cooler air roughly to the north of this front and down to the south of this front. Temperatures will be very much on the warmer side, but that front could also act as an irritant to start up more showers in the atmosphere and maybe even a rumble of thunder if we get enough activity out there. Now through the rest of the day into this evening, high temperatures again will be back in the upper 40s to the mid to upper 50s for areas south of I-40 in that front. North of I-40 will be decently cool, but it will still be above freezing, so we're not seeing anything but rainfall out there throughout the rest of the day into the afternoon and evening, and then into the rest of the forecast again, scattered showers, but less of them expected as we go through Sunday. Might even clear out a bit as we head into Sunday around News Channel 3 at 10, so some good news there. Rest of the day today, temperatures back in the mid-50s with scattered showers around the area. We're not seeing a weekend washout, but you're definitely going to have to keep the umbrella handy. Maybe a little bit more sunshine tomorrow as temperatures increase to the lower 60s as that warm air pushes its way back toward all that cold conditions north of us. For the day of service, the holiday coming up on Monday for Martin Luther King Jr. Day, temperatures will be some 20 degrees above normal. That will be good for outdoor volunteer opportunities, but unfortunately there will be chances of showers and maybe even a rumble of thunder out there. That'll increase into Tuesday as everybody head back to work or school, and then lingering chances of showers and thunderstorms as we head into the rest of the week as temperatures will be very un-January like in the upper 60s to around the lower 70s by the time we hit next weekend. Increasing chances of showers and thunderstorms toward next weekend as well, and then much cooler by next Monday, but definitely not seeing anything in the way of very cool January-like weather out there, so not seeing too much in the way of an opportunity. For Iraq, for those of you who have friends, loved ones, or relatives serving in the United States military, 50s and 60s with mostly cloudy skies around the area just around the Tigris and Euphrates valleys and just northwest of the Persian Gulf into the Persian Gulf breezy around Doha in Qatar back in the upper 60s and very windy conditions around Bahrain as well calm 63 degrees around Kuwait same temperature but windier at Riyadh in Saudi Arabia back into the high country near Kabul and Faizabad back in the 20s and 30s rain cloudy skies 40s around Kandahar mostly cloudy 40 in Harar and back to the demilitarized zone in South Korea, back into the teens around Seoul, clear skies there, 20s throughout the rest of the country with clear skies and more clouds in the southwest, breezier down toward Kunsan with temperatures back into the lower to mid 20s. Got any weather pictures out there? Pass them along at aonic underscore WREG3. Also on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, WordPress, YouTube, Tumblr, and Google Plus, and also on uh, Game Boy as soon as I can figure out how to do that. Check out my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network, Oldies 102.3, Country 92.5. We'll be back with Bob and Josh throughout the rest of next week on AM 730 Yacht who sports radio in Memphis, especially for Memphis in the morning, and talk back live if you'd like to listen in or comment on Twitter. And don't forget to download our app, be able to let you know what's going on across the Mid-South. All you have to do is go to your particular app store and search WREG Weather. I'll be here throughout the rest of the weekend keeping you updated on what's going on with the weather, so stay tuned for that and also more at WREG.com. Questions, concerns, comments, ideas, suggestions, anything like that, please let me know. Austin.onic at WREG.com if you'd care to pass something along. And we'd be glad to make this more of what you want to see on here, so please let me know about what you would like to see on this uh, weather blog and we'll be glad to see if we can accommodate you on that. Stay tuned to News Channel 3. I'll have more later this weekend on line and on air. And thanks for joining me for Saturday morning's edition of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime.